President Biden will deliver a foreign policy speech tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time from the Oval Office, addressing the U.S. response to the Hamas attacks against Israel and Russia's war in Ukraine. The president returned home from Tel Aviv last night after pledging support for Israel. Let's get the latest on the ground in Israel. NBC's Jay Gray joins us now from Tel Aviv. Yeah. Hey there, good morning. Yeah, and the response here in Tel Aviv, the front page of a uh, newspaper here says Biden dictates rules of the game. So they are, are taking seriously the president's short visit here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what he feels like he accomplished, what we will likely hear at least partially uh, this evening. Uh, Israel and Egypt, just after the president left and after he pushed very adamantly for this, uh, decided they would allow humanitarian aid into the uh, two million or so people caught in the middle of this fight in Gaza. That will likely begin tomorrow. What's happened right now along the Rafah border crossing with Egypt is the uh, is that uh, the roadways there have, have been damaged during bombing runs uh, by Israeli troops so they're repairing those and then expect the, the first uh, convoy of 20 trucks with food water and medicine to move in the first time in two weeks uh, that they have done that we don't have any indication of the duration of uh, how long this may last uh, we know that the u.s uh, the president says will commit 100 million dollars to aid uh, for those in that region there is another issue that is boiling on the other end of this fight and it's the possibility of expansion of the military action there is a growing concern about the border with lebanon and and what has been, and I'm, I'm quoting the IDF here, uh, significant escalations in skirmishes with Hezbollah along that border. We know this morning uh, anti-tank missiles were launched toward a kibbutz uh, near the security fence in that region, and the IDF has responded uh, with artillery fire. There have been stepped up uh, troops and equipment moved into that region. The fighting has been growing significantly each and every day. And, and that's something that people are very concerned about, especially with the atmosphere on the ground. There's a lot of frustration over the explosion at that hospital in Gaza that killed hundreds. We expect more protests over the weekend. And so this is a, a hot box that a lot of people globally are paying close attention to.